So, a dramatic development in the North Wales child abuse affair tonight. After Lord McAlpine's statement that speculation on the internet linking him to the allegations were wholly false and seriously defamatory, the abuse victim who first named him has told this programme that he was not the man he identified to police in the 1990s and he wants to apologise. Straight to our correspondent now, Porrick O'Brien in Wrexham. Porrick. Chris, in the last hour, something of a bombshell telephone call to, from Steve Meacham to myself. He said that, the that today he had seen a photograph of Lord McAlpine online and that it was not the man that he had identified at, as one of his abusers back in the 90s. I asked Steve Meacham how he could have got it so wrong and, to be honest, he was unable to give me a satisfactory response. He was distraught and he asked me to communicate to Lord McAlpine on his behalf how sorry he was. That, though, of course, is something he has to do himself. So he has withdrawn this allegation. He is a child abuse victim. Does this now undermine everything else he's said? I think there are concerns from other there are concerns from other victims that I've spoken to this evening that this somehow will divert public attention away from the key issue here. Let me just very quickly though tell you a little bit about Steve Meacham. Um, in terms of the context of this, the reason he was in care in the first place was that he had a life of abuse at the hands of his father and then he went he was sent to a care home where again and again and again he was abused we would be naive to think that in some way that hasn't damaged the man but the truth is that he was consistently abused by many others the fear of victims now is that it will divert attention away from the loose ends that remain after the Waterhouse inquiry and will some way detract from their effort to get closer and closer to what really happened. Porrick O'Brien.